Are they? Hey. My name is Andres. I'm Ina. And we are immigrating from South Africa to Canada. Yeah. This is our first video uh, on the subject. Uh, we thought we'd make a vlog. And uh, if you guys do want to join us through basically almost everything um, from the emotional up and down, the admin processes, the paperwork, and the timelines, um, we really want to invite you guys along uh, if it's something that'll interest you. Um, it's been a year and a half in the making. I think yeah, about a year and a half ago we started with a with the process. Uh, well, at least we decided we wanted to go. Yeah, we started with a dream a year and a half ago. We, we realized that we will really want to go back and we should go back sooner than we expected. Um, we had the opportunity to live in Canada for a year as um, cultural exchange uh, South Africans and uh, we really really enjoyed it. We came back, started with our family and then in 2019 we decided we should go and yeah that kicked off a massive process. A massive process. Um, as you know immigration is no it's not a small thing, um, you know, it takes a long time and it's incredibly upsetting. It's uprooting your entire life on this end. Um, we are, like like Ina said, we're a family. We've got three kids and a dog and the dog's going with and the kids are also going with. <laughs> the rabbits are staying though. <laughs> Shame. Um, and yeah, we've officially been nominated now uh, and been accepted or granted our provincial nominee so that guarantees us for the federal express entry system so yeah so it's actually it's happening it's 100 percent confirmed or well, i would say 99.9 percent .9%, nothing's 100 percent until it's signed but uh, i mean i can't see that it won't happen at the moment so we're going to talk in this series we're going to talk about aspects of this process and I might add for all of the women and wives that I'm um, also going to talk about, about the, a bit about the emotions that um, you go through because you've got a long waiting period in which nothing seemingly happens and when something sort of happens then uh, you have to wait some more. So you've got a lot of time to get sentimental and as one shares this process with friends and family, um, you get a a compliment of other people's emotions on it um, and sometimes it's hard to to either bat it or accept it or just take note of it or ingest it and that's hard we'll be talking about that we'll be talking about what we decided over months now of talking what we will actually move over um, some of my friends have immigrated to Australia and she had a friend immigrating to Vancouver um, the one to Australia literally packed up her whole, whole house and she is so sorry that she did that and she says as sorry that she is that she put everything in a container and paid all that money to move it as happy is her friend who took only two suitcases each on the plane <laughs> so we opted for a midway between that and we'll talk about that as well how to decide how one decides what you want to take, what's important, what's not that important and yeah, shipping options as well. Yeah, so we'll, I think we'll, we'll, we'll definitely discuss some of the costs as well. Um, like I said, the timelines, that's, everyone's interested in the, how long the visa application processes take and, and you know. How many visas you have to apply for. Yeah, and obviously. How many in, stops on the way. And obviously we're in the middle of this pandemic, so we'll talk about COVID tests and quarantines and all that sort of nonsense that we have to go through. Um, not looking forward to that. Yeah, so when we started this dream, we basically, that was August 2019. Uh, Andres is very good with just reading up literally on the website. So he spent, I think, nights and weeks and nights reading up um, on the physical immigration of Canada to Canada website. And then we did the first step in it all and we made an online immigration profile which needs to be approved so it mm. was approved on Christmas Day 2019 um, that actually doesn't get you anywhere that doesn't get no, you no, anywhere no. you feel proud of it <laughs> we'll, we'll cover all that in the, one of the episodes so we'll cover all the admin and the paperwork um, what I want to say was so uh, we started our dream there we had an online approved uh, a profile and then 
COVID-19 came three months later and we just dropped the whole dream. We thought, oh, you know, who's going to give you a job now? The world's upside down. So we dropped it for a few months. Um, and then we, we reconsidered. We had, we had a serious talk about it and just about our vision of the future and where we really want to be in 10 years time. And we decided, no, yeah. we're going to pursue it. And, um, oh, sorry, the, one of the most important things, or it's a nice, nice thing is uh, we want to invite you uh, to leave some questions that you may have in the comment section below. Then we'll have a look at those and we'll try and answer those as they apply to the different episodes and things like that. Um, I might even answer some of them in the questions. But, uh, yeah, by all means, interact with the, with the channel and we will, yeah, we'd love to hear from you. We did not use an immigration consultant. Uh, we did, in the beginning of the COVID pandemic, we did do a consultation with an immigration consultant just for 45 minutes. And that was actually more discouraging than anything else. She did give us some pointers, um, but in the end, she said of the 93 ways to immigrate, the only option for us would be to get a job and a work permit. And I think that deflated us so much, we just left it. But the rest of the journey, we pushed through by ourselves mm. and we made it realize without using a consultant. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward on the, on the website. There's a lot of information, but you can basically work through everything and definitely, you're definitely able to do everything yourself. It's very detailed explanations on there on how to make everything, how to fill it in and all the mm. paperwork you need. So that's it, I think, for the introduction. Anything more you want to add? No. Not really. No. Okay. And we're going to British Columbia. It's uh, on the West Coast. We're actually going beyond the West Coast. We're going to be on Vancouver Island, um, just above the city of Victoria, which is the big city on the, on the island. Um, yeah. So we're very much looking forward to it, obviously. And uh, yeah, that's it. Cool. Signing off. See you on the next vlog. Cheers. Bye.